Hi, my name is Lawrence Strydell, owner of Winner's Window Tint here in Rockville, Maryland. And in this segment of Tint Your Ride, I'm going to show you how to trim off some of your excess film and trim up some of your corners. Okay, let's get started. Start with the right side and let's get a nice straight line. You can use your hard card as your straight edge as well. Now let's get started on the left side. Place your hard card nice and level with the existing cut that you have and just gently cut across the glass. Put a just adequate amount of pressure so that you don't cut the actual glass of the car. In this corner here, you'll want to round out your edges. And from here on the upper right hand corner, you just want to round out your edge. Nice and clean. Well, now that we have all of our edges trimmed and all of the excess film gone, we can go into our next stage where we'll be actually heat shrink the window film. First thing item you'll need is a heat gun. I use a Milwaukee heat gun. Now with your hard card, you'll want to anchor down the existing film by putting pressure on from the top middle along the left and right hand sides. You're going to be creating what is called in the industry as fingers. These fingers that we actually create actually are and can be problematic if we don't do this. So with your heat gun that we have, we're actually going to be wet heating the actual film. Notice how the film itself begins to curl and create little slight S's in the actual film. You'll want to run your heat gun over those. Take your time with this and try to apply just an even amount of heat to each area. If you don't, you can burn and melt the film itself. Now that we have just about two or three more, you'll want to do this to every window that you work on. It really saves a lot of time and makes the installation a lot cleaner. Well, now that we've completed the heat shrinking process to our driver window, in the next segment, I'm gonna show you how to clean and prep and install this window film.